Hey everyone, Rust Belt Collector back with you with another review. Um, today I'm actually going to be doing a comparison between the Fortnite 4 inch action figure line and other 3 and 3 quarter inch figures um, like Acid Rain primarily. So what I did is I picked up two, or actually uh, three of these loot chests which are about ten dollars each which is a little pricey in my opinion but these all come with a bunch of accessories mainly weapons um, for the fortnite figures and i wanted to see how those would compare and if they could be used with uh, customs or with just in general other three and three quarter inch lines now i have a few figures here that i'm going to be using um, first off is kind of a beat up version of Storm Shadow from the G.I. Joe line. I believe this one is from um, the movie, the first one, Rise of the Cobra. And he'll be our comparison for Hasbro G.I. Joe. Then we have here what I believe is the Omega figure from the Fortnite line. And finally I have this uh, Ghost Laurel Pilot from the Acid Rain line. So what I'm going to be doing is taking the different weapons from the cases and comparing them, seeing how they work with each individual line and seeing which ones are maybe a little bit too cartoonish or otherwise just don't fit in that world. Each box comes with two of these interlockable uh, floor panels just like in the game. I personally don't play it and so it's these aren't anything that I'll be keeping as part of this but they are interesting and it's a a cool design or a cool idea behind it where you could build your own Fortnite world basically with these. So each one comes with two of these so I've got a bunch. Um, they all do come with a backpack of some kind um, this is the only backpack that I decided to actually keep because it just looks a little bit more military while the rest of these I was just kind of like eh. But I have them to show you to kind of get an idea of how they work. Um, all of these work perfectly with the Fortnite figure I should show I guess while Acid Rain generally doesn't have a hole in the back. I did test it on some of the ones that do have um, holes for backpacks, but this peg is too big. So it doesn't fit on the back of the Acid Rain figures. And depending on which G.I. Joe figure you have, it might fit. Which, obviously, he has nothing to hold it on. He's shirtless, so it's kind of weird. But if you had a G.I. Joe with the right peg and the right armor, it could potentially fit. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now the Omega figure came with this uh, Scar L. At least that's what I call it. I'm sure they just call it like a assault rifle, but it's basically a Scar L from like Call of Duty or anything like that. And it looks pretty realistic. It's a little cartoonish, but not too bad. So we'll start here. And as you can see, it fits pretty well with the G.I. Joe. Um, you could actually paint it up to make it look a little bit more realistic. It would actually be very easy to paint this up and use it with G.I. Joe's or other three and three quarter inch figures. Um, it's a nice, accurate version, or close to being accurate version of the Scar. And here we'll try it with Acid Rain. I don't know if I'll try every single one with each figure. I think you can get the gist of it that they look pretty good with the figures and that they, you know, they're compatible. And here with the Acid Rain, that looks pretty good, honestly. If you did a little paint app, made it a little bit more weathered, that would be a great little assault rifle for them. So yeah, that's a that Scar L is a good option. And like I said, this one didn't come in one of these loot cases. It actually came with Omega or Omega. I don't remember. 
Um, I think Omega is actually the name of the Acid Rain uh, faction, one of the factions, so that's wrong. But there's that. Now, one of the complaints that I have, and this does definitely detracts from the $10 cost of these, is that some of these weapons are just ridiculously cartoonish. This is some sort of uh, night vision assault rifle, I think, and it doesn't even look close to being real. Goofy barrel, stubby, strange magazine, weird stock, and ones like these, I just, I can't see keeping for the line. They would just be too comical. Same with this one. Just doesn't really fit with anything. Looks really cartoonish. And the shotgun, too, just doesn't really fit, in my opinion. But then you have ones like this. Um, this is, I think, what they call the drum gun. And it's a really accurate looking, like, 1940s, 1950s uh, Thompson machine gun. And so for something like this, I was really psyched. In fact, this was one of the ones that I was specifically looking to get. And it works pretty well with G.I. Joe, especially if you had one that was like in a suit, you could make him more of a mobster. Just put him down there. And it works really well with Acid Rain. Which is great, because it's just a cool vintage rifle that looks good with other three and three quarter inch lines and so this one really did make it worth it for me while the other ones like these cartoonish ones in this little pile here just they didn't sell me on it I couldn't really figure out anything to do with them now I'm just gonna go through some of the other ones that I decided to keep that do fit really well with the line um, there was this little submachine gun which is cool it's a little unrealistic but it would fit with a little bit more of a sci-fi world. Um, there's this M249 machine gun. Um, I don't know what they call it, probably like a heavy machine gun. But this one also is a really nice realistic or close to realistic uh, three and three quarter inch assault weapon. Again, you have a heavy shotgun, I believe this one is called. Let's see how close I can get that for focusing sake. And this one, again, is kind of sci-fi, so I probably will use that with um, some of my customs. This one, again, is a little cartoony, but fits well. And all these weapons were split amongst the three loot boxes that I got. Um, so I'm trying to remember. One of them said the heavy machine gun. One of them said all, all these boxes, they're not mystery boxes. They actually have a label on them that tell you what is in them specifically and so one of them said the drum gun one of them said the heavy machine gun and one of them said this which was the mini gun and so that's how I knew which ones I wanted I just picked those three I think that there's at least one or two other versions that just had more cartoonish weapons when I looked them up so there are other crates but these are the three crates that I got specifically and again, this minigun fits pretty well. Um, if I ever use it, I'd have to paint it and probably cut out that handle right there and drill out some barrel holes. But overall, it's a really cool kind of sci-fi looking minigun. And finally, were these two handguns, which I think were definitely a good addition. I'll show them off with first G.I. Joe and then I'll show them off with the Acid Rain. I think they fit a little bit better with the Acid Rain figures because they're a little bit more bulky. They don't look quite realistic but they work with G.I. Joe and they definitely work with Acid Rain. You can get some really cool dual wielding poses going on with this going like that it's just a pretty great addition to the collection having these weapons crates because you know with acid rain you get maybe one or two weapons per figure and if you ever are doing a custom you might need some extra weapons if you're working with um, 
any kind of loose fodder that you maybe got off of eBay or something, you might not have weapons for all your three and three quarter inch figures. So with something like this, these are just great little additions. The price tag of $10 each is a little bit steep unless you specifically want something like the strum gun, for instance, that I was wanting. That was that made it worth it. Um, but yeah, they all work pretty well with three and three quarter inch figures. Obviously, they all do work with these Fortnite figures, but I'm really not a fan of the Fortnite figures. Um, they have a lot of restricted mobility, like for instance, Omega here can just barely grab his rifle with two hands because of his armor restrictions, and it snaps out really easily. <clears throat> However, I do like that they have this double jointed posability, so I might use this figure for some sort of custom where I get rid of the torso and everything and keep something like the legs just for posability sake. So yeah, this has been my review of the Fortnite weapons cases and just in general Fortnite weapons for three and three quarter inch figures and how they compare. I um, hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful and check out my other videos. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you feel like it and uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.